Hello and welcome to today's lab. This lab will demonstrate how to edit your bivariate crosstabs in SPSS to be in APA format and ready for publication, or copying and pasting into your assignment. So on the Blackboard course webpage, navigate to data, and then you're going to choose the NES 2008 data set, and clicking on that will open up a session of SPSS. In my case, I already have a session of SPSS open, NES 2008. We'll go ahead and open that. So this lab assumes you've watched the video on how to download the APA template available on the Blackboard course webpage and applied it to your session of SPSS. So once we've downloaded and applied the APA template, let's generate a crosstab and test a hypothesis. So support, suppose our hypothesis is those living in the South are more likely to be Republican than those not living in the South. So our dependent variable in this case is party identification, a nominal variable, and our independent variable is whether or not someone lives in the South, a dichotomous variable. You'll recall for a dichotomous nominal relationship, we'll use chi-squared to measure significance and phi to determine strength. So within SPSS, go to Analyze, Descriptive, and we're going to go down to Crosstabs. And we'll sort our variables by name and then alphabetize that. Now our dependent variable is party ID in three categories. So navigate down to party ID in three categories. We're going to place that into the rows box. And our independent variable is named uh, south. So navigate down to the variable south, place that in the columns box. And we're going to select the statistics button here. And we'd like to get a chi-square value uh, for this relationship and the phi uh, value for this relationship. So click on chi-square and phi, click continue, and then select the cells button and make sure that the column percentages is ticked, hit continue, then hit OK, all right this should give you a crosstab with your relationship and the formatting is very similar to APA, a table of test results from the chi-square test and a table of results from the uh, phi and Kramer's V test. Let's focus, let's focus first on the crosstab. So if we are publishing or turning, in our, uh, turning our uh, crosstab in for an assignment, we need to do a few more edits to make this crosstab conform, uh, conform precisely to APA standards. Plus, we want to include the results of our chi-square test and our uh, phi Kramer's V test into our crosstabulation. So in the output window, right-click on the table or double click on the crosstab table. And this will allow you to start editing the crosstab. Now let's start from the top and work our way down. Double click on the title and we're going to clean up this title a little bit. So we're going to title this crosstab our dependent variable by our independent variable. So in our case, party. party identification by region, and we're going to specify that region is measured south, not south, and hit enter, and that will change our title. Now we want to add two footnotes, one that lists the results of our statistical tests and one that lists our source. So first, let's list the results of our chi-square test for significance. So right-click on the title and choose Insert Footnote. And here we're going to add only the appropriate results of our tests from the SPSS output. So looking at our chi table of results right here below, we want to include the value of chi, the degrees of freedom, the p-value, and the value of phi. So we insert chi, 
and specify degrees of freedom. And we'll put equals our value of chi is 14.862 or 826. And then in parentheses, we're going to put our degrees of freedom, which is 2. And then comma. And then we'll report the p-value, which in this case is 0 0.001. And then we'll separate the chi uh, square statistics and the phi with a semicolon. And we'll place the value of phi down here, which is 0 0.08 into our footnote as well. So phi zero point zero eight. And remember we're reporting phi because this is a two by three table. All right, so hit enter. All right, so now readers can interpret the results of our test and observe the relationship in the crosstab at the same time. The chi test yields a p-value of 0 0.001, meaning we can be at least 99% confident in rejecting the null hypothesis and claiming support for our research hypothesis that those residing in the South are more likely to be Republican than those not residing in the South. Also, phi gives us the strength of the relationship, which... Uh, here appears to be very weak at 0 0.08. All right, next let's add a second footnote that lists the source for this data. So uh, right-click in the title, and we're going to insert another footnote. And here we're just going to put the source of our data, which is the National Election Study of 2008. And hit Enter. All right, so our two footnotes are done. Now we're going to clean up some of the uh, presentation of the data here in the actual table. All right, so double click on the independent variable header entitled region south. And we're going to name that just region. And directly underneath this, change the category column headings from dichotomous 0 and 1 to the actual properties of the independent variable. So double click on 0 and type not south. And double click on the 1, value of 1, and put south. This is our success condition. And we'll go over and change the dependent value header by double-clicking on recode of party ID 7 and typing in party identification in three categories. All right, and lastly, click on the count and change this to simply N to signify the number of cases. And if you change one here, you should change all four of these. And then click on percent within region, and we're just going to change that to percent. to signify the percent uh, of cases falling in each category. All right, great, this is the finished product. So now your crosstab is ready to copy and paste to your homework assignment or research paper. Well done. Believe it or not, you have enough information now to actually start producing your paper. You can test hypotheses, you can generate tables, you can interpret statistics. So as we move on to more sophisticated techniques, remember that you can test almost any hypotheses with some of these basic techniques you've already learned if you recode your variables accordingly.